Hello again, I'm Axel Wilkinson for fxhome.com. Another one of the new tools in PhotoKey 5 is a new type of spill suppression called spill simulation, which adds even greater control to how you are able to handle spill in your images. As an example, with this image, we have a nice clean key, as you can see, but in the color image you can see some green spill present, uh, chiefly on the legs there and a little bit on the arm. And if we use traditional spill suppression methods, here we're using the standard, and you can see how those blue colors have shifted. If I turn that back off for a second, you can see they're, they're still blue, but the color has shifted. And if you needed really accurate color, perhaps if this was a sports uniform and it used a very specific color that needed to be retained, then you might need more accurate results than that standard spill method would provide. The extended spill method might get us closer, but now it's a little bit purple there on the shirt. If we turn that off again. Again, you can see that those colors are being shifted somewhat. So, the new spill simulation gives you even greater control over those areas of your image so you can get the colors as accurate as possible. So, now with spill simulation, if we toggle that effect on and off, you can see there's still some change in the blue on his shoulders, but we can use the spill settings now to dial that in and get the color perfect. The view menu allows you to either view the result, your finished image, or Use the despill map, which shows you exactly where within your image spill suppression will be active. White indicates spill suppression in full force, black indicates areas that are unaffected, and then gray, such as in these areas, indicates that there's some degree of spill suppression going on. And so, in all of these areas where gray is present, we are going to see shift in the colors. So our goal is to limit spill suppression to only areas that still contain green, where we want the color to be shifted so that the green is removed. The amount slider can be used to reduce the impact of the spill suppression if necessary. By default, that's already set to 100%. Hue range, balance, and hue balance give you control over how much of your foreground is affected by the spill suppression and which colors in particular will be adjusted. So in order to remove the spill from the shoulder areas, uh, really all the areas on the clothing, but still have his legs affected, we can reduce the hue range and that very quickly reduces the effect on the shoulders while still allowing some suppression on the legs. And then if we increase the balance, that increases the amount of spill suppression on the legs, and then if we adjust the hue range again, you can see now the shoulders are good, but we are getting a little bit of an effect in the black areas of the shirt and the shorts here. But we can compensate for that by adjusting the hue balance, bringing that down a bit. And so you can see, no matter what colors are present in your image, you can adjust these spill settings to keep those colors as accurate as possible. So if we switch back from despill to the result, you can see if we turn this off for a second, there's the green in the legs. We turn that on, and that green is significantly reduced, but his shoulders and these other blue areas remain totally accurate to the original colors. In addition, we have spill replacement, which allows you to swap out the color of the spill for a new color. So in the case of this image, we have green spill from our green backdrop. And that spill is a natural phenomenon. Anytime we take a picture of someone standing next to a wall of any color, if they're right close to that wall, then whatever color the wall is is going to get reflected back onto them. That's just the nature of light. So, in theory, when we make this composite, our subject, if he were actually standing in front of this brick wall, then the colors of that wall would be reflected onto him. So that's what we're able to do with spill replacement. By default, this is replacing the green with a middle gray, but we can easily select any color we want. We have a color picker, or it's usually easier to just use the pipette tool to drag onto the image and select a color straight from the background. So I'm going to zoom in on the area with the most spill so that we can see the effects of this as clearly as possible. And watch the color of this leg as I select various colors from our background here. I'll start with this red of these bricks over here. You can see how now there's a bit of a red cast to that leg. Watch this same area as I drag over and select uh, maybe this bluish gray dark area here. You can see how now that gray blue is reflected into the leg there. And if we select a much lighter color, you can see how now that spill is more subtle. The luminance control allows us to adjust how much 
the spill color we select affects the brightness or the luminance of the layer. So as we increase this, you can see how now that lag is much lighter than if we set it down there. Uh, the luminance control is going to have the greatest effect if you select a very light color as the spill replacement. But being able to select a color directly from your background like this, uh, it's a really great tool to have and it can really enhance your composites. So, with the ability to control exactly what areas of your image are affected by spill suppression and view those in the despill map, the ability that provides to avoid unwanted color shifts in the image, and the spill replacement tool, which lets you swap out the spill color for a color naturally occurring in your selected background, we're confident that you are going to love the new spill simulation tool found in PhotoKey 5 and PhotoKey 5 Pro. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to make sure you catch our videos on all the other new features in PhotoKey version 5, and we'll see you next time.